be this year they they, they they doubled down when trump said i'm lowering from 40 to 15 your t f corporate tax rate to move jobs here china we're going to zero and as long as you make it state run and join us you said have a house here as you said everything's tax-free move to china everything's tax-free for rich people well no so exactly and then the trade deficit got even bigger this month to counter trump it's a total sellout and the average american doesn't even know doesn't even care the average leftist wants higher taxes in america they are the biggest idiots i've ever seen you are exactly right i mean this is incredible and then no one's backing trump so we're surprised he's starting to roll over i'm starting to think america doesn't want to be free gerald <laughs> If you are receiving this transmission, you are the resistance. All right, Gerald Salente is hosting this hour. I ran over. We got a bunch of callers. He's gracious enough. He wants to hear from your calls. The next few segments, then I'll punch you out, but he'll be riding shotgun with us. But just as a citizen, as an American, it is such an affront to see the vice president of the deep state, James Comey, and the president of the deep state, Robert Mueller, being worshipped everywhere all over national television when they're deep in bed with the Russians, the Chinese, creating this whole fake PPGate dossier. That's all been disproven. So they raid the president's lawyer and find out the lawyer, they're now leaking it, was like doing Republicans favors because he's a lawyer. They're like, hey, will you handle this payoff to a woman? I got pregnant. And guaranteed the president doesn't know. He famously delegates. But who cares? I mean, I, I, I mean I'm not into corruption. People paying people off for affairs. You've got the sellout of the country. You've got the Arab Spring. You've got open borders. You've got the sellout to China, a $900 billion trade deficit. And notice we're hearing about Trump and bimbos. And then now we're hearing about other donors and his lawyer a few days after he gets raided. And then suddenly Trump starts to roll over. Despite all his hundreds of tweets about Syria and how the rebels are staging it and we shouldn't go there and the rebels are worse than Assad, on and on and on, suddenly this happens. And I know it's about North Korea and sending a message. Whatever. Trump's not been about Machiavelli. He's been about pretty much straight shooting. He'll Machiavelli left us in and draw him in and say, oh, what do you want on DACA? Oh, total open borders? What do you want on guns? Oh, repeal the Second Amendment? I mean, he'll do that. But Trump and his 40 chest has been pretty much straight shooting. So, Gerald... I know the globalists hate Trump. He's better than Hillary, obviously. But I, at a gut level, I see this as a real uh, sign that they, they, they've got stuff on him. And uh, my gut level tells me that his attempt to appease them is going to go over like a lead balloon. But you're a smart guy. You know, you've been a best-selling author, worked as a top consultant, worked, you know, you name it. Uh, you, you know how the cow ate the cabbage. What does your gut tell you? Well, I, I'm on the same page as you, uh, is that... The globalists is the first thing that you said. The globalists are against him. So what's the big thing with Trump? Why would the globalists hate Trump? Well, the first thing is, of course, he wants to renegotiate those globalist trade packages that Bill Clinton put together. And, and pulled us out of their whole TPP where they were about to transfer all the power. That's right. Let's go back again. Who did he, you know, who did he run against? Clinton. And what did Bill Clinton do? Clinton sold his country out as I view it, and you know the motto of the Trends Journal, think for yourself, just about more than any other president. I mean, Obama lied more than anybody, but Clinton really sold us yeah, out. Yeah, he's the one that really began the total sellout to China. And exactly, Trump's not perfect, but he's not out to get the country, and he's just bringing back a meat, like, they do $900 billion on us, he goes, okay, $50 billion tariff. Or he tries to lower our taxes just to match China, and they flip out. Uh, because, be exactly, he's not out to get the country. And you look, you look at Clinton's track record, beginning with NAFTA. What are we, uh, you know, what, about 800,000 jobs shorter or something, you know, since that happened, uh, that we lost? Uh, what, what else? So we have a trade deficit now of, we had a, a, a positive a trade balance, and now we have a negative one of... Um, 500 uh, billion. No, I'm talking about with... with uh, oh, globally, Mexico, globally it's 1.3. Mexico, Mexico, 71 billion. Yeah. Um, then he gave us, he brought China into the World Trade Organization, uh, and people don't realize this. China joined, by the way, two weeks after 9-11. That's when they officially came in, so no one was paying any attention. So he lost 3.5 million jobs since then, and that's according, you know, to, to the, um, 
their economic policies. No, you're right. Well, let let, let me truth. ask you this. Why do the globalists go out of their way to screw America over when they would get even more power, keeping us powerful, and then parlaying that? Why do they fundamentally have a giant raging you-know-what for the country? Because they're making money. Uh, and again, going back to the Clinton deal uh, and why the globalists hate Trump on the biggest issue I can come up with is, again, redoing the trade agreements. And w when, for example... China, you go back, you know, a few years ago, they were hardly manufacturing cars. Oh, my God, they're making what. they're making B-2 bombers now. They've ripped everything off. So let me ask you this. Well, they didn't rip it off. That's the thing they I'm were trying it. to say. Is what happened was the deal is this. You want to make them over here, you become a minority owner in the company, our company, and you have to bring over all your technology. So they did this knowingly. And, and let's all expand. This year, they they, they they doubled down. When Trump said, I'm lowering from 40 to 15, your corporate tax rate to move jobs here, China, we're going to zero. And as long as you make it state run and join us, you said, have a house here. As you said, everything's tax free. Move to China. Everything's tax free for rich people. Well, no. So exactly. And then the trade deficit got even bigger this month to counter Trump. It's a total sellout. And the average American doesn't even know, doesn't even care. The average leftist wants higher taxes in America. They are the biggest idiots I've ever seen. You are exactly right. I mean, this is incredible. And then no one's backing Trump, so we're surprised he's starting to roll over. I'm starting to think America doesn't want to be free, Gerald. Oh, I agree. You know, this is a courageless nation. We're all the, you know, anyway, going back to Clinton and the sellout and the globalists. Why is the major media so pro-Clinton? It couldn't be because slimy, slick Willie Clinton's 1996 Federal Communications Act, where he deregulated the entire communications. So foreign industry. corporations could buy it up. Exactly. So it's payback. That's all this is. It's a joke. So the Clintons, why did the Clintons Foundation worth a billion bucks or whatever it is? Because of the great it's things billion. they've done. And that's why they yeah. hate Trump. And call him crazy. They go, we already own the country. We already de-sixed it. Deep, we already sold it out. You think you schmuck. You're going to walk in here and turn it around. We're going to show you. That's why they're so arrogant. They already sold it out so hard, gang raped it so hard, they're just laughing, saying the dumbass public will never wake up, Trump. And that's why they thought Trump was crazy. And again, it goes back to dollars and money. That's all this is about. And as I said, to, as I see it, the biggest problem... The, the deep state has with Trump is, is the money problem. And the money problem is he wants to bring the jobs back to the United States. And you hear countries like China, how wonderful globalization is. The European Union, how wonderful globalization is as the standard of living of everybody in Europe and America has dramatically declined. So let me ask you this question. You're a, political, you're a political atheist. We're going to break him back with calls and you're going to take over. But Clearly, Trump's policies are, are common sense and were good overall. Some of them were bad. But the left's hatred of America, like a baby duck that's been imprinted or something, and their hatred of Trump trying to bring it back and their cheerleading of war, what happened to the left? Because they're the most foaming at the mouth crazy people. Well, look at the left under Obama. How wonderful the Nobel Peace of Crap Prize winner was. Didn't he do a great job over there in Libya? Folks, how about that troop surge? Folks in Afghanistan. No, you know, one. how about look what he did with Syria? He's the guy that started all this, along with the other freaks out there, the Saudis and the rest of them that have killed, what, over a mil half a million Syrians already because they got involved in a, in a place they had no business. So they don't have the courage to call out the people that they voted for. It's a courageous nation. And that's why the liberals are the way they are. Obama is, how many, quote, I'm really good at killing people from the book Double Down? What did he kill, 4,000 people, innocent people with drone strikes? That's your liberals. They're liars and cowards. And again, I also agree with you that Trump, with, the, with this unprecedented FBI going in and, and, and getting the, his stealing their lawyers, lawyers, private lawyers' information, they got a lot of stuff on this guy. And could you imagine being married and having all this stuff coming out, what your life would be like? So there's a lot of turmoil, and I think the pressure coming under him 
is making him do things that he probably wouldn't have normally done. We need to really pray for President Trump. Don't believe in that, some positive energy, whatever, because at an intellectual level and a gut level, I've never been more upset. That's why I blew up Friday night. It wasn't even over these stupid strikes. It was over the fact that they finally got his arm on his back, and uh, you can't deny it, man. They are they are putting the screws to Trump right now, and God's, God help us. We'll be right back. Stay with us. If you are receiving this transmission, you are the resistance. fate of humanity. The time to choose sides has come. We are the resistance. We are the info war. The globalists are losing, but they're doubling down their attacks. There's one thing they fear and it's people power. Infowars has defeated their censorship so far only because of you spreading the links, spreading the articles, subscribing, uh, clicking the notification buttons and getting the articles and videos out. But they are intensifying their censorship, so now it's more important than ever to ensure we keep the First Amendment alive and well right here in America and free speech worldwide. So from Australia uh, to countries in Africa to Europe to Mexico to right here in the USA, I salute you all for taking action and defending free speech. We will prevail. Electrify your day with Secret 12. It's like lightning in a bottle. We all have days in which we just can't seem to perform at the level we'd like to. InfoWars Live Secret 12 is designed to naturally energize your body and mind with two great tasting and super high quality forms of vitamin B12. Proper vitamin and nutrient intake is essential to keep your body functioning at optimum levels. The reality is, it's hard to take in the proper amount of vitamins we need each day with our modern diets. Secret 12 by InfoWars Life is an easy way to naturally upgrade your vitamin B12 intake and support your body's natural systems. It pairs two forms of vitamin B12 into one explosive formula. Vitamin B12 supports healthy energy levels through red blood cell formation and aiding in the body's natural processes, but it also assists with many other functions of the body. Electrify your mind and body and take your health to the next level. Experience the power of Secret 12 at InfoWarsLife.com. That's InfoWarsLife.com. 